Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to praise and worship you tonight, for the opportunity to be here, to still be alive, to be able to serve you and those around us more. Tonight we have a privilege to be able to uh, participate in a baptism together. So, um, Karen, could you come up here, please? And uh, Joel's going to hand you a mic. I'm going to ask you some questions, and you're going to you're going to answer the questions. Most of them are about the Apostles' Creed and the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Come on back. Joel's going to give you the microphone that he uses. He just cleaned it off and all that. So, okay. So, the uh, pre preparing for your baptism tonight. So, I would just like to hear your testimony. Tell me about Jesus in your life. Just, you know, a real short, I know you know how to do that, brief. But Short, brief. I was asked when I was about 10 years old if I really, if I loved Jesus by my grandfather. I knew the right answer, so I said, yes, I do. And then as we were going home, back to Iowa from uh, Indiana where he lived, I realized uh, maybe that wasn't quite the right way to, right thing to say because I had never told Jesus that I loved him. So at that point, I did. For years, for high school and so forth, I was really seeking to follow him. But then there came a period in my life for about 23 years where I was wandering in the wilderness. I was in a cult, and that cult taught some things that I can't believe, but I believed them at the time. And I came here to Fort Lauderdale in 1996. I started attending Coral Ridge Church and had realized, ah, there's a lot of things I need to unlearn. And as Dr. Kennedy preached, I relearned the truths that I had loved and believed as a child and as a high school student. And that was my coming, time of coming back to him. But I kept seeking and, oh, starting in, you know, five, six, seven years ago, I was wanting to more and more about how to experience the presence of God in my life. I didn't feel like I had that to the extent that I wanted it. And the extent that I thought it has to be available. And so as I continued seeking, about a year ago, actually November 1st, 2019, I attended the first School of Spirit meeting here. Dawn spoke a word to me. That has been what has been a wonderful time for the last year. Learning more, walking with the Lord, learning to hear from Him more clearly, and just loving it. Awesome. <laughs> so, that's it. Awesome. One more question. What does baptism mean to you? Baptism to me is saying I identify with Jesus Christ, that He's my Lord and Savior, that I I enter that water, I will die with him, and I will be raised again with him. Amen. Free from all, free from all my sins, because he has paid the price for every single one of them. Amen. I think that's good. You can hand Joel back the microphone. The quiz is over. Can we turn on the lights, please? When we do a baptism, it's pretty, it's fairly simple because you can step down and you sit down and we just lean you backwards. But we have a lot of helpers helping because no slipping here.
By the way, the water's warm. Yeah. It's a heated whirlpool. Okay, so all I'll be doing is just, I'm gonna keep my hand behind you and I'm gonna hand the microphone to Dawn because that would be bad for the microphone. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna lean you back very briefly under the water and make sure I help you get back up. Okay, Karen? Because you believe in Jesus and you've called on him as your savior, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. anyone yet on the way out. Lord, I pray for Karen that she would encounter you in a new way. That you'd meet her with dreams and visions, grace and understanding, as she has taken this step of obedience and love. I ask that you would meet her in amazing ways. Thank you for her and for her willingness to follow you. In your name, amen.